Oh, it's on the next floor. Like, I'm forgetting where I have everything. This is, like, fully overclocked. And it's still kind of slow, so I may need to expand that production as well. So here's the radio control units. Okay, so blenders. Yeah, like maybe we should just bring it to the other side. Yeah, turn these around. Okay, so I also need to make like a space here so I can move stuff. Okay, there we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Just barely enough room. And I can move stuff through here as well. So we are going to need alternate cooling device. So it makes 3.75 per minute. And that's a lot of heat sinks and a lot of nitrogen gas. So we need to bring the motors up. Okay, so let's put back the Blade Runners. And I think we'll put, like, the mergers... It's the mergers we're looking for, right? Yeah. The mergers here. And I think the Stingray is underneath us. You know what? I probably should, like, ride the Stingray one of these days. You know, I think we can do that later on, once we have, like, everything automated. Because once we have everything automated and going into the space elevator, it's like, it's only a matter of time until this playthrough is finished. Speaking of which, the playthrough will be finished once I get the Employee of the Planet Cup. That means completing Phase 4 of Project Assembly. Man, this is a lot of time and effort I'm putting into this game just to complete that. Well, that's okay. I'm enjoying it. Even if it does become tedious at times. Okay, so what I want to do... It takes one fluid and... Yeah, one fluid and two products. So, we... We'll just do... We'll just do this. Two... Three... Four... Five... Six. So keep in mind, I'm not actually looking at the ratios. So I have no idea if this is even a good, like, ratio. I have nine of these, six of these. I really have no idea. And it doesn't really matter. So one, two. Oh, damn you. Yeah, this is a weird angle. You know what? Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it that way. And it's not going to work still. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Why am I making this more complicated than it needs to be?
I just put it like this. Yeah, there. Then this will be like not centered on this line. Yeah, we'll do it like that. And we can just have it go underneath. So let's bring the motors up now. Which means going down over here. No, these are the motors. Hmm. You know what? Let's get rid of this. Oh, these are still MK4s. Now, we'll have to put wall conveyor 3 over here. And then we'll have to do wall conveyor 2. Bring it all the way up here. Okay, we'll put a splitter somewhere on this floor. I guess we do need to upgrade this. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Hmm. This is going to suck. You know let's get rid of this first. I guess we will put yeah, one of these conveyor poles like right here and then somehow we'll need to put a splitter here. So we'll give it enough room to actually enter here. There. And then we'll move this back here. And perfect. So. Okay, these items are disappearing in front of my eyes. I think there's that's a bug with the rendering because I have so many things that need to be rendered. It's like disappearing on me. Well, it could be worse. It could be, like, not working at all. Put you here. There we go. So I'm thinking... Let's just put it like this. Or you know what? Put this over here. Since we're going to put the splitters there, I don't want the conveyor poles to be blocking the way. Do it like this. And actually, I can put the Blade Runners back. I don't think we're going to be expanding this further, so we'll just do it like this. And then we can have like the pipes go underneath the conveyor belts. And then once all of this is done, I do need to check the power. If I have to turn on a new, uh, another nuclear power plant, I will.
Okay, so splitters here and here. Oh, I need plates. I am very low on iron plates here. Should still have more than enough, but I do need to resupply. So we got six blenders here. Right, hover pack. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. And there's six. You know, I might as well just set all of the recipes now. Yeah, and then I'll hook it up to power. Well, hook up the power lines anyway. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Then after this, we do need to pipe in all of the hydrogen. Or, not hydrogen. Nitrogen, yeah. There's no hydrogen in this game. Okay, so I'll hook it up to power later on. Like, I can hook it up here. But I want to get the nitrogen first. So yeah, it's right over here. And I think this is enough to, like, pump upwards. Oh shit. Oh shit! Shit, shit, shit. Let's not go too far, okay? So what I'm going to do is, we don't really have poles for pipes, do we? Um, or do I unlock it in the awesome shop? You know what, let's check right now. Uh, I actually I can't. You know what, let's go resupply for the time being. Okay, this is still going. Okay, should I overclock this? You know what? Sure. I mean, we got lots of power. Maybe we'll do this. Now, we're gonna have to go hunting for more slugs because we are going to use a lot of power shards this late in the game. Because once we have a lot of things automated, we are going to be using lots of power shards just to avoid uh, building new infrastructure. Anyway, um... What was I doing? Oh yeah, we needed the... Let's top up on cables. That's good enough. Yeah, I was low on wire. And I am low on quick wire as well. And we still need aluminum sheets. And I could go for some extra inventory space right about now. I think one of the hard drives I scanned, it like gave me an extra six plus inventory slots. The problem is it also had a recipe that I ended up taking so I didn't get that bonus. So if I get another hard drive, like that's still an option. And I still need to get some stuff here. Also low on quick wire, but don't really need to go over there just yet. Now, I do have a lot of encased industrial beams, so probably should dump that somewhere. 
Okay, so anyway, I was going over here. Oh, I was going for the awesome shop. I guess now I can build it, except I can't. I was going for the awesome shop to see if I could get, like, a wall where I can, like, build pipes through. Because there isn't a pipe hole. Or if there is, I probably didn't get it from the awesome shop yet. So, we're going all the way down here. Let's go shopping. And you know, I haven't exactly been doing anything with lights. So... Attachments, pipeline wall. Oh, we need some of this. Okay, so let's get some tickets. Like, I haven't been getting anything from the awesome shop lately. I haven't redeemed the tickets either. Okay, so we don't have tickets. Alright, let's go to the awesome sink. We do have two awesome sinks. One is over here. Let's go get that. And since I'm already over here, might as well just check on the space elevator. Oh, I do need to get rid of something here. Well, I guess quick wire. Oh, I still have an, a full stack of that. So, no, I don't need to get quick wire. Never mind. Alright, so this is halfway done. And then the other thing, the assembly director system, we still need more of that. So it's a good thing I overclocked that second component there because we're going to get it done sooner. And once that's done, I can take out the shards and disable it. Alright, back to the awesome shop. And you know what? This is a lot of screw production for the rotors. Like, there's probably a more efficient way to be doing that, but... You know, it's already there. So, we'll just keep it like that. Now, I did buy these. I might as well buy this as well, just in case we need it. Okay, foundations, foundation pillars, I don't care about that. Vehicles, I don't care, it's statues, equipment. Uh, I don't need anything here. Parts, I really don't need anything here. Unless it's like really expensive parts, like the turbo motors hmm stack of turbo motors we can actually buy this like right now uh yeah let's buy that and i just realized my inventory's full so uh where's my motors shit it's not here Okay, probably should dump a... take off these things. Let's store these tickets. Oh geez, what did I do? And you know what, let's put some spare encased industrial beams in here. We don't need all of this. It's two stacks is good enough. Two stacks over here of steel beams. Yeah, let's get some inventory space here. And then let's go back and... Uh, where'd you go? There you are. Knew it. Wait, wait, that's actually a lot. You know what? Let's rebuild the awesome shop. And I guess you can stay here. Like, that is a lot of motors. I gotta check my inventory again. But, we'll just do this. Okay, this comes in stacks of 50, so we'll just load it up there, and then it feels like I'm taking a long time just doing this. Well, anyway, let's go back to what we were doing, which was getting the hydrogen up to the seventh floor. All right, so here's the sixth floor. There's a hydrogen tank, massive industrial fluid buffer, pulling all of the hydrogen. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a wall here. 
And then we're gonna put wall hole or hydrogen like right here. And we're gonna put another wall here. And another wall hole right here. Uh oh. Wait. So I think at this point we'll replace the splitters and mergers with pipes. We're gonna need Yeah, stackable pipeline. And we need plastic. Damn you. Can I like take some plastic from any of you around here? Or do I have to go and get some plastic? God damn it. Wait, is that plastic? No, that's screws. Wait, here's some plastic. Except it's going all the way over here. Like, we're gonna need a bag a bigger stack of plastic, not just like the individual ones. So we will have to fly all the way back over here. I feel like I should just use the hyper tubes, but I really don't have any idea if which is faster. Okay, let's take two stacks of these. We are good on copper pipes, so we're good. And we can build a lot of pipelines. 600 units worth anyway. Okay, let's start connecting all the pipes here. And I probably should just like connect some power over there as well. Hello Stingray flying through all of my buildings. And I'm gonna put like a wall outlet here, a double wall outlet. Just an MK1 for now. Just so we can have like power being connected from here to here. And here to here. Now since it's a gas, it's not affected by the normal rules of liquids. So it's fine if we just bring it here. Probably should just do this. And do vertical. What kind of verticality is that? Or I guess it needs to be higher in order for it to be like vertical. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put another buffer here. Oh, I should also put like a valve going this way. Just a one-way valve, just so it's not like going back to the other thing there. And then I will put a fluid buffer. An industrial fluid buffer. And I think one is good enough. Except it needs to be like further over here. Yeah, there we go. Wait, is this lined up? No, it's not. Wow. Okay, let's try this again. Third time's a charm. Probably should have looked at that line. Anyway, let's go connect this. And what I'm going to do is... Just do it like this. So, nitrogen gas, motors and heat sinks are all in there now. Okay, heat sinks there, motors... Yeah. So we just need to connect this pipeline and then we're done. Now we need a cross junction. 
Okay, I don't think we need the stackable pipelines anymore. And then we'll put the pipes like in this section over here. Come on. Okay, that line right there, and then it'll go connect like this. There. Do to the other side, and then we'll connect our what's its face? The cross junctions. Okay, so the last one is over here. Okay, that's too far. Let's try this again. Okay, now we can do the cross junctions. Nice and straight. One. And here's three. Okay. How's this coming along? Okay, so this is filling up nicely. Okay, I think it's time to power this on. Yeah, I was going to power it on through here. And then we should have lots and lots and lots of stuff being produced. There you go. Okay, so this is going to take a while, but it produces two cooling systems per cycle. How's our power? Okay, we're gonna need more What was that sound? 